Yeah, uh, Sunday. I actually had no idea that I would be shopping today. <sighs> today was supposed to be a washout, and basically it did become a washout. I didn't do a flea market. Um, I'm on Facebook. I don't, I don't go on Facebook a lot. Just checking some posts. And I see someone that I know posted uh, that they're setting up in New Milford, rain or shine, for the town wide. I'm like, town wide in New Milford? Normally, I would never be able to go. Uh, so it was already like 11 o'clock, and I'm like, well, I'm sorry. It was, it was pretty late. I was like, let's go. It hadn't started rain. It hadn't even started raining yet, right? So we get, we go, and as soon as I get to New Milford, it, of course, it starts pouring, uh, which is normal for me, uh, with my luck. <laughs> so anyway. I went to a bunch of sales. They were open in the rain. Um, if I had gone earlier, I probably would have done much better in what I had found today. But I'm actually still pretty satisfied with what I did find. Especially since today I'm going to do some eBay, but otherwise it's a no money making day for me. Um, like I'll put stuff on eBay, but that doesn't mean it'll sell. Anyway, here's what I got. Um, I got two games. I got Oddworld, Abe's Exodus, and the original Oddworld. I paid... Uh, Four dollars, two dollars a piece for the two. I gave out a lot of business cards today, so uh, you know we we shall see on that. But uh, I'm going to be doing this game con convention, and uh, it's called a video game con. Uh, and it happens in September's, and I think I want to bring a lot of PS1 games. I have a lot of PS1 games, so this will go in the PS1 pile for two bucks a piece. Uh, there's money to be made. Um, this is something I got uh, today: Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, I have a friend who likes Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And uh, here, I'm just going to pop the tins open on these. All right. Okay, I got uh, two tins full of the cards. I'm not even going to go through these. You'll see them when you get them. Uh, but I, I, here's the tin. I know the tin has value. I only paid $15 for all the Yugo cards I got today. Here's another tin full. Uh, okay. Just all these are Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Yep. And then I got this binder. I'll I'll flip through the pages of the binder so you can take a quick look at that. Uh, there, one page. And the binder is also an a, uh, like an actual Yu-Gi-Oh binder, and it's in fairly good condition. I mean, it needs to be cleaned. It's it's definitely dirty to the touch. So glary. Right. I know this is a little boring for you non Yu Gi Oh people, uh, but I will make it quick. So you can see, I, I don't know if, how the cards are arranged. I don't really know much about these. I mean, I think the ones with the little silver foil might be good. Um, so even today, I'm doing this now, and I, I under the threat of rain. All of these have silver foils. Um, if that's good, then great. I don't know if all Yu-Gi-Oh cards have silver foil. I imagine they don't. I'm just trying to be quick. All right. Then I'll talk about the other thing. I, one of the things I found today is a piece of sculpture, which I'll, sh I'll show in a minute. I think I'll probably show the CDs and the DVDs next. I don't know, is that something that all of, I mean, is this special, these little silver foil tabs at the corners of, of these cards? But you can see there's, there's probably hundreds of cards nicely preserved in this folder here. They'll probably have little wear, surface edge, or whatever. Yeah, I'm just going faster. I don't want to bore people. You know, I know so little about these. I don't know if the person who... Had, because there's a lot of empty spots. I don't know if the person who had these was arranging them um, in any particular way or fashion. If they are arranged... I mean, I, I don't know. If, I don't see that they're arranged particularly by color or whatever. Let me see if I can do this a little bit quicker. There. 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 You probably don't even... It's like I'm probably taking too much time on this. But I'm sure you have a sense of what I, I've got now and for the amount that I paid. I'm skipping some pages that are sticking together. I'm not going through the trouble going back on them. 
Again, I did not check the ones in the uh, in the tin cans. I don't know if this is an amazing collection or a whatever collection, but I don't really remember seeing those silver foil things on all the cards. But that just might be me. Let me see if I can check this real quick. Nope, I guess they all have it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I made a big deal about that for nothing. All right, continuing on. Uh, CDs and DVDs. Basically, I paid $2 a piece for these CDs. I went to a sale. A lady had like a ton of, of records. And uh, she was selling them 50 cents a piece, but it was like, and they were in really good condition, but they weren't rot. They were just this stuff. And I'm like, uh, I didn't feel like hanging and looking at this stuff. I don't like records to bring around and sell. They're heavy. I have to worry about them in the sun. So I just said CDs. And with the CDs, of course, she wants $2 a piece. So she literally had hundreds of CDs, and I only pulled these out. Uh, Santana's Greatest Hits. These I will price five and sell them for four or three. Uh, Bee Gees Greatest. These were sealed. Maybe I can put these on uh, Amazon. 50s, wonderful year. This one's sealed also. 50s. Uh, fabulous 50s. And then a Julio Iglesias. I don't know if anybody knows who that is, but he was... Uh, a Spanish, very popular, uh, crooner type singer, uh, sang romantic ballads in the 80s. I got these movies, Motorcycle Di Diaries, Pulse, Johnny Depp, uh, Sleepy Hollow. He's in the news, getting divorced, Rocky. Um, I got a uh, complete season one and two of It's Always Sunny in, in Philadelphia, funny as hell show, Sleepless in Seattle, Harry Potter, and The Last Winter, which I may want to see because uh, apparently this is the scariest movie of the year. But I don't know, they may or may not be lying, because if you go back through these other DVDs I got, I'm just wiping, they're actually a little wet. Um, if you check these other DVDs I got, this also says the scariest movie of the year, unless they were made in separate years. Don't know. Continuing on. Um, I got this mirror. This is 70s stuff. Uh, it's signed by an artist named Barton. Uh, obviously, this is mass-produced stuff. But um, very 70s. It was only... Uh, dollars if you can see all the way over there I don't know what I'm gonna get for it uh, probably 20 to 50 dollars is is a believable amount it's in fairly good condition I just need to clean it um, this is a piece of sculpture I got this is actually spoon fork art and then they used uh, other things but this would be an example of a brutalist an art form where they just took found pieces of metal and things like that and would assemble them together uh, to make uh, artistic creations or things that look like other things or just art forms and stuff like that. Anyway, this is dated Casa del Arte 1971. It's signed by someone named, uh, looks like Zunig, Z U N I G. And uh, I don't know what that, that other long letter is, could be anything. This, I guarantee you, I'm not going to put this on for anything less than 50 bucks. I need to clean it a little bit. Um, if I'm lucky, it's worth more. We shall see. Uh, kind of winding down. Now. Oh, I got these two. These are snow globes. But I don't know if you know much about these. Online, these could be pretty damn valuable. Uh, and also, when you go to buy them in the store, they could be 7500 something like that. This one's a Macy's Parade one. A Macy's Parade. Uh, I don't know what year it's from. I'll have to figure it out. But if you wind it up, all these figures kind of go around in a circle. And it does have the Twin Towers. So it's possible... This one is about 10 to, uh, well, actually would be like, well, near 20 years old, I guess, right? I don't know, one of the 911. Uh, here's another one. This one, they had other ones, but this one, again, for five bucks, there's a lot of stuff going on with this one on around it. What the hell, right? Five bucks? I know I can't go wrong. Um, but this nice old bowl, this is ovenware, as it says on the bottom. Probably a McCoy type thing. Used to be cleaned a little bit. It was very inexpensive. I spent $18 with this lady. And I got that, um, this mirror, I got the owl, I got this mirror, I got these two bowls, I got those. Those came to $10 alone, so it was like $8 for the rest of the stuff. Um, this bowl was also part of it. My wife said this one kind of matched. She wanted that. Um, oh, this is the only jewelry I got today. Um, this, is, this is Native American. They do copper work sometimes. Native, Amer Native American jewelry is usually done in um, silver, rarely gold, and often in copper. And then they do beadwork and glass beads and stuff like that. 
Um, people love the silver stuff. This one, it's it, there's a name for it. It's like scenic because uh, things are going on. And they hammer, they take a band of copper and they just hammer designs into it. Uh, my wife says, I paid two, she'll get like ten bucks for it. Okay, almost done. Nice Pyrex bowl. I don't know, it's some kind of Amish pattern. I forget what they call it. But it's nice blue and it was like, I basically I paid seven dollars for all of this stuff here from someone. So that's a really good deal, right? This was part of it. I think it was a dollar or two. This I think was four. This was probably two, four, seven, seven. Uh, this... All right, let me get, this was three, this was two, and that was two. Okay, this is a set of Pyrex bowls. You can see it's got water in it because it was raining, so they were actually filled with water. These people were putting stuff away. Uh, but I don't know if you can see, it's clear in color, and uh, it just says Pyrex. It's a set of four stacking, which should be a complete set. I don't know. I, don't, I think I can get anywhere 15 something like that maybe more if i'm lucky uh the last thing i'll show is this stack of dishes there's one two two large plates three four five six seven eight looks like nine let me count again two four six seven yeah nine nine pieces um this is fire king where uh this stuff is oven safe i guess because it says oven on the bottom i don't know if you can see that you know the, the light's not so great today because it's very overcast it might rain again um they call this blue well they they're this kind of uh, dinnerware glassware they call jadeite this would be blue jadeite normally you see it in green people recognize the green as jadeite but they it's, it does come in other colors this would be the blue um i don't know that could be worth something could be ebayable if not i'll take it to the flea market <sighs> whatever there's there's uh I'm, i'll be doing the columbus farmer's market they love this kind of crap there you know um they don't pay a lot <laughs> But if you don't, if I don't pay a lot, then it's it's generally pretty sell, sellable for me. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. Um, I'm done. I'm home. Uh, no flea markets for me this week. I made zero money, but I found some interesting stuff. Um, yeah, and that's it. I, I, this is my favorite thing that I bought today, other than that, than uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards.